this isn't really the best situation. We need to move over to something else. Changing situations is very delicate business. But the best has been, in my experience, we need to change on our free will before external events and push us into a change that we no longer are in charge of. So that's kind of my work. That's, that's what I do. And then, to finish a little bit my story, I published a few books, which sends who who is here um, edited and published. <coughs> and those books, particularly like today, was basically, you know, if I had made a university degree, that would be it. That, that, that would be the, um, I don't know, the thesis, whatever you call it. And then I had to go back into practice. That took me about 10 years to research and write. And then I thought, okay, now we're going to do something about it. I had given the solution in the book. I'm going to jump now through the hoops with you quickly. We had figured out that this world is going to present us some challenges. Not problems necessarily, but challenges. There are going to be situations coming up, external situations in public affairs, politics, geopolitics, economics, etc., which would require us to adapt, preferably early to it. So I guess we're visited not only by the spaceships that are above us as a presence, but also hearing helicopter sound. Turn off your GPS. Oh, by the way, if I was Edward Snowden, I would have now asked you to put all your gear into the fridge. We are aware that we're being looked at from outside and so on, and that's fine. There's nothing here to hide. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Although there's nothing to hide, is not to hide. I'm all for letting them know. Because I feel the challenges that we have coming, I mean, we're in the challenges they began in 2008. And my book came out in 2006, just in time for the beginning of the challenges. 